re-elect Lee Leffingwell. Lee Leffingwell's a Nazi scumbag, man. Ever since he's been in office, police have been beating the shit and killing people in this city. And you want him re-elected? Democrat stroke job here. Protect the First Amendment. You're voting Libertarian? Ron Paul. Oh. <laughs> yeah, with the right people. Okay, there's three people here aren't retarded. <laughs> well, Ron Paul's pro-life. That's why I'm here. So. Yep. <laughs> Ron, oh, wait, there's four of us. Promise. The only change you really change your promise change in my pocket. <laughs> so let me get this straight. George Bush bombs two countries. Barack Obama bombs six countries. See, he's three times better than George Bush, right? Sure. Because you voted for the war monger, right? You voted for Obama. You're a Democrat. The El El you like war? You like killing people? Well, you like killing people for their natural resources? Yep. We're everywhere. your hands on anybody. Okay. It ain't about Ron Paul. It is about Ron Paul. No, it's not about Ron Paul. Fuck Ron Paul. He said fuck Ron Paul. What are you doing here? Oh, Whatever we want to do here, lady. Freedom of speech. He don't care about women's rights. Yes, he does. Down with him. No we don't care about you. We don't give a damn about you. We have freedom of speech. Here? We're standing here minding our own goddamn business. No, what are you doing here? I'm trying to get on the news. I'm huh? this woman right We're doing whatever the hell we want to do. Find you some business somewhere else, lady. I'm not saying that you shouldn't campaign for Ron Paul. That's exactly what you're saying. He's blatantly against abortion. You're trying to you're trying to stifle somebody's freedom of speech. I just told you what I said. Why are you over? Because you the you stuck your sign up in front of ours like you're That's trying to okay, block somebody. That's all right. Bush. Oh. It's a typical Democrat's attitude towards freedom of speech. Yeah, it is. Adolf Hitler was a leftist. Benito Mussolini's a leftist. Democrats hate freedom of speech. Okay, you don't have to if it makes you. We just stand here mind our own business. I'm going to walk at, anybody gets in front of your ass. Look at this shirt. Look That's at this right. shirt. In the fed. In the fed. So, excuse me, ma'am, you're out here exercising your right to freedom of speech? I am. Well, why are you denying that man his? Because you don't like what he has to say? The people that don't like what you have to say would want to make you shut up, right? I'm just, so it's a back I'm and just, forth. So if he can do it to me, so, I can do it. So he's not trying to make you be quiet. He's out here expressing himself. No, he's trying to make us be quiet. Why you got a problem? His candidate is. <laughs> Why you got a problem with people you know, using their freedom of speech? We have a problem with Ron Paul. Ron Paul sucks. Okay. Vote 
for Obama, you vote for war. You, you want to change. This is the real change. Ron Paul. You vote for Barack Obama, you get more change out from under your couch cushion. Obama. You love Obama? Yes. What the fuck yeah, for? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because he bombed six countries and George Bush only bombed two? He's, he's three times the war the war monitor George Bush is. He's for the people. He's for the people. You're for the rich people. Like he's for Goldman Sachs and Chase. Citibank, Citigroup. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Chase Morgan. He's a liar! Go to OpenSecrets.org and look at where Barack Obama's money comes from. Now wait a minute. I thought war is peace. Man, I could eat a bowl of alphabet soup and shit a better argument than that. What the fuck you talking about? No, 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 no. From Obama's mouth. He said war is peace. War is peace. Obama said that? Yeah. Yeah, look at the people that think, vote why, for why, why do you think he got the Nobel Peace Prize? Look at the people that follow Barack Obama. They're fucking retards. Are they the only ones that would believe that shit? All right, pro-war. Let's kill them. Kill them all. Psycho. Barack Obama, we going to kill them all. Yeah, Psycho. that's right. Yeah, We're going to assassinate American citizens without a trial. You're an idiot. We're going to promise to veto the NDAA and then decide otherwise. So now, the, so now our government can legally make you disappear in the middle of the night. <laughs> Trolls for Ron Paul. Yay, law enforcement. Cops are cool. We love cops. Thank you, law enforcement, for keeping us safe. I thought communism was dead. It's not. <laughs> hey, man, drop your hammer and sickle and join us, brother. Wait. It's a real revolution. You know? it's a hey, you know, I respect the whole peace thing, bring all the troops home and all that shit. Yeah. You know, your failed ideology, that's yours, man, you know. But we need to bring our troops home. Just come home. trying to encourage women to buy guns so they don't have to worry about violence against women. Just yeah. back. Yeah. Don't be a victim. You got the Second Amendment. Why are you worried about violence against women? Get you a gun. Old boy puts his hands on you, put him in a hole. I would rather nobody get killed. Yeah, I would too. There's only one man's going to bring the troops home, though, because we believe the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. What part of life do you not understand? You know? it's, it, how about the rights of my life? How about, about get an amendment passed? Alive? Follow the process. Get an amendment passed. If you got the votes to get it, then get, you get your way. If you don't have the votes, then you don't get to have it. That's, that's not how it works. Talk. Say something. Then Say something why, smart. Why are you here? Why are you here? Because I want to be. First Amendment. I know you have the right to be here. I'm asking why. Why do you want to be here? There's a whole lot of us here. You just don't know who they are. Because who, who do you endorse for president? Nobody. Mm -hmm. well. I don't want a president. I don't want the system. So I saw a guy with a t-shirt once that had a picture of George Bush like this, smiling real big, and said, I bet you vote next time, hippie. <laughs> I mean, Signs here. Might be too late. And that's the best sign here. Small government. Government that governs best, governs least. Socialist workers. Hey, can I have one of those? They're buck. Oh, no, I ain't spend money on it. 
Is that the socialist worker? No. Get one. Get two of them. Oh, you're charging money for it. Oh, really? The audacity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Hey. Socialist newspapers for a dollar. Sounds like capitalism. <laughs> Man's out here hustling, making a living, selling newspapers. It costs money to print newspapers. Selling communist newspapers. Why don't you just give them away, right? I mean, you should redistribute them. Oh, but that's not real But you want money for it. You sound like a capitalist. You sound like one of us. Money. Gotta love money. We're supposed to be praying silently. If you, if you read my Facebook post about coming here, uh, we, we walked up on it by accident. Okay. <laughs> you don't even have to be religious in order to respect life, in my opinion. Oh, that's Ron Paul's opinion right there. Yeah. Without, without life, how are you going to, without defending life, how are you going to defend liberty? Exactly. So, with, with life being the most fundamental liberty of all. Our nation is founded on the principle of the right to life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. That's right. What part of right to life do you not understand? That's right. What part of keeping bare arms that you don't to understand? To ourselves and our <laughs> posterity. That's the preamble of our constitution. <laughs> sign death warrants for poor women. That's right. And Ron Paul got rid of Rick Perry. You know who Margaret Sanger is? Very racist, horrible person. <laughs> okay. Be, be truthful. I don't know a lot about her politics, but I do know what she did. You know this Planned Parenthood, they always build their offices in the black neighborhoods, right? Here we have some lovely ladies who are standing up against fascism. Ron Paul 2012, my friend. Ron Paul 2012. Damn straight.